a big thing if I don't get accepted. Because we knew one thing for sure, when you enter the pioneer squad, that means you will get chocolate and milk. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a big thing at that time. I don't know if you've known that, but in the early 80s, there was a lack of chocolate all around these socialist countries. And you cannot get chocolate on a daily basis. It was just the replicas of chocolate, yeah. which was not really good. And whenever you would say chocolate to young kids, everybody would be woohoo, chocolate. So, and if I would think, if I don't behave, I won't get my chocolate, no way. So that was a very good threat. And on 29th of November, we celebrated the Socialist Federative Republic of Yugoslavia. That's when actually on 29th of November, 1945, it was proclaimed and that's when Tito came in power. That, that's when he became a president of our country. And he always decided he'll have a very special procedure. First, you will be um, welcomed to the Pioneer Squad, and then as soon as you get age 15, you will be um, kind of proclaimed to be in a youth squad of Yugoslavia and there repeat that things, but we needed to repeat and they were we were practicing this forever and ever. So I still know it by hand by head from in Slovene, but I have it here in English. And it goes like this. Today I am becoming a pioneer. I do solemnly swear that I will be a good pupil, I will study and work, I will be a good comrade, that I will love our country, Socialist Federative Republic of Yugoslavia, that I will develop brotherhood and unity and support the ideas for which Tito fought, that I will appreciate all people of the world who want to live in freedom and peace. For our country, with Tito, I go. And then we would even sing songs for him, and I have that song.